In this video, you're gonna learn how to create a text spacing animation as well as add a border to your text. Cool, so to do this, I'm just gonna delete this text and just bring the time indicator to the start. And I'm gonna click on the text icon to add some text. I'll just scale that up and center it. Now I wanna remove this text uh, fill color. So I'm gonna click on the color palette over here and just bring the opacity of the fill down to zero and go back and then click on advanced to add a border. So you'll see the border options here. I can just go through and add a border, let's say two. I could then you know, change the color. Uh, let's make, make a green kind of teal color. And now I've got my text, it looks good. I can go through and create some animations. So on the drop down over here, I'm gonna click on animations and I'm gonna select text spacing as well as scale, okay? So let's just drag this out, make it about one second long. And what I'm gonna do is make the scale down to zero. So I'll just drag this down like that. And you can see we've got this animation that goes on like so. Um, also at the end of the animation, I want it to, this text to like kind of spread out with the text spacing. So on the letter option over here, I'm gonna go and type in something like 200. And you can see now that when we play this through, it kind of zooms in like that. And then what I want to do is add another animation. So go on to animations and the plus icon and use the text spacing as well. And then just drag this down to about a second long. And at the end, I'm just going to make the spacing zero. Okay, so let's preview that. Like that. You can also change the easing to create unique looking animations just by, for example, selecting elastic. And if I just drag this out to maybe two seconds long, let's just preview that animation. So you added a nice bounce to the text. So this is how to create a border for your text as well as a text spacing animation. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a color change animation like this. So you can see basically the color is changing as you know the text is animating. Um, and you can apply this to both text and shape layers. So let's go through and first of all add a text layer. I'm just going to bring it up and center it like so. Maybe I'll change the color quickly to blue so you can see it like that. So to create this animation, you simply click on the drop down menu and click on the plus icon for animations and then simply select color. Now, if you go out of here and you want to go back into the animation property, simply select that and go to settings. and You can see you've got the properties again that you can select to animate. And what you want to do is basically set the start color and the end color. So the start color, we can stay with blue. And then if I go to the end, I'm gonna go through and choose something like maybe a red or an orange, something like that. So you can see it goes now from blue to orange, okay? So we can duplicate this by clicking on right click, duplicate, reverse. And now we go from orange over here and we can select a different color at the end. So let's go with something like green or we can go with pink maybe, something like that. And I'll again duplicate reverse that and then go to the end and select a different color. So let's go with something like a pink, okay? What you could also do is add a text effect if you click on the plus icon and go to something like random characters and you could drag this up so you've got two effects going at the same time. You've got color change as well as the random characters. So let's just preview that. Cool. So you can have a lot of fun with this and use it on shape layers as well as text um, to add another dynamic variation to your animations and your effects inside Create Studio.